Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be an Amazon haul, but I'm not going to be showing you any clothing today. It's just going to be a bunch of items that I think that most women would enjoy having or using. Yeah, something like that. I think most women would benefit from using these in some capacity or another. Now, actually, I am going to show you a piece of clothing because I'm actually going to show you this halter top right here because it's a DIY. And every time I wear one of these in a different color on Instagram, I get a lot of comments in the comment section just asking me where I got it and stuff. And I made it from little tank tops that I purchased from Walmart. So I'm going to show you real fast how I do that. And then we'll jump into um, the Amazon haul. Okay, so let me first show you what this halter top looks like. It looks just like this. I have a little strapless bra on underneath. And so, yeah. Okay, so real quick, this is the tank top that I buy at Walmart. And I want to say it was like $2.88. I'm not, I can't even believe that they could sell shirts that cheap. So I literally bought them in every color. I think I have about six. And um, cause you know, I'm a big spender. <laughs> Just kidding. So all I really do, because these straps are kind of long and I didn't like how it was fitting. Um, so I take the straps right here and I cut them off the back. And when you cut it, um, it cuts below the back. So it doesn't look, uh, let me just show you real fast. I'm just gonna cut this one and all I'm gonna do, like I said, I'm gonna cut it right there at the base. I'm gonna put it on my lap real fast. Okay, so as you can see, I just cut the strap off and the top of the shirt actually comes up above it like this. So you cannot really tell at all. And um, so let me do the other one. Okay, so now I've cut both of them. And as you could tell, you know, you can tell where there was, you know, strap sewn there, but nobody's really gonna be looking, you know, that close at your back. Hopefully not. They would be awfully close to be to be able to notice something like that, right? So anyway, then it just looks like that. And then you just take it and, you know, you tie it however high or low, you know, you want this to be. I like it to be kind of high. That way it stays up, you know, in the back like that. And so, yeah, you're just going to have to wear, you know, a strapless bra underneath. And what's kind of neat about this is that, you know, I'm kind of surprised that these do not fray at all, even after you wash them. Like I have a really beautiful lavender one. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. And I actually cut the bottom off too. Like I cut maybe that much of the bottom off just so that I could tuck it, you know, a lot easier instead of, you know, having to tuck so much of it in. And it doesn't fray. Like I've washed it several times already and it does not fray at the bottom. So something about this material, you know, doesn't fray. Yeah, it's 89% polyester and 11% spandex. So it doesn't fray at all. So anyway, um, yeah, $2.88, you can't beat it. Okay, so these right here are my first items. And these are eyelash separators. So they have um, the little needles there, and but they're not really sharp. They're actually pretty dull on the ends. I wanna show you this one right here. This is my Tweezer Man um, eyelash separator. These needles are very, very sharp, and I have poked my eye with this at least twice and your eye will literally water for one straight hour. It is very, it's painful, it's pretty painful. So I'm glad that these are a little bit more dull. However, they still go right through and separate your eyelashes. I shouldn't be doing that right now. I'm gonna like pull off my mascara. But they work just as well. And you get two for $5. This one has already been used. Um, you get two for $5. And I wanna say this one right here was one for $8.99. So, you know, it's a deal. And I find these very useful. I have to use these. My eyelashes are almost non-existent now. Um, I need to start I need to teach myself how to put on fake eyelashes. I can't. I've tried and every time I do, it literally weighs everything down and makes me look worse. It doesn't make me look better at all. So anyway, if you are eyelash challenged and you need to kind of make it look like you have a few more eyelashes rather than, you know, I can't even afford to have like two of them clumped together. So anyway, these really come in handy. Okay, so this item right here is just genius, I think. This is a little travel toothbrush holder with a lid and as you can see everything you know just stays in there nice and tight 
Um, so I've got two toothbrushes in there. You could obviously fit more toothbrushes in there if you need to. I actually put a razor in here just to kind of keep mine and my son's toothbrushes separate. And then it's got a little spot here for your toothpaste. Now, the cool thing about this is that, you know, I don't know if you're like me, whenever I go out of town, if we're staying at somebody's house or, or if I'm staying in a hotel, um, I don't like to just put my toothbrush on the side of the sink. Um, I just don't like how messy everything gets. I don't like that, you know, it doesn't seem sanitary to me. So usually I'll just go to the kitchen, grab a cup or something like that. Or if I'm in a hotel, I'll use their little paper coffee cups or whatever, just to put my toothbrushes in. But anyway, so this, you have a toothbrush holder and then you also have a little cup, you know, to rinse your mouth out, you know, after you've brushed your teeth and stuff like that. Now, I don't know what this little, you know, compartment is for. I don't know what you could fit in there. I'll think of something, I'm sure. Okay, so this right here is the next item up. And this, um, you're probably like, what the heck is that? This is a little silicone pad for your heating tools. So you just lay this on the counter and you lay your heating tools on top of it. This is actually really hot right now because I just unplugged it. Um, but the wonderful thing about this is that it actually has, it's actually a sleeve. And so I don't know if you're like me, but I, I can't tell you how many times you know, we're trying to get out the door, we're gonna, we're traveling or we're going somewhere and everything's packed. And the last thing that I'm doing is like fixing my hair. And then my, you know, hot iron is still hot. And so I don't wanna pack it obviously because I don't wanna catch all my stuff on fire. So what you do is you put it in this little sleeve like that and now it's not gonna catch anything on fire and it's safe. Now, another thing that I do is that whenever I'm using this at my house, um, after I unplug my hot iron, I will stick it in here and just leave it on the counter to cool because um, there's been several times where <laughs> my poor son, he'll grab it to like move it or something and he might grab it in the wrong spot and he's like, ow, you know, um, I've even done that before. And so anyway, if it's in here, nobody's going to get hurt. And so, you know, you're, <laughs> you're saving your children from also, you know, burning their little fingers. Okay. So the next item up is this right here, and this is a foot file. I've actually had this for a couple years now. It is incredible. However, I would not suggest using this on dry feet. I did do that the first few times and I was shocked at how much skin, dead skin you have on the bottoms of your feet. However, the healing process was really weird and I did not like it at all. You know, for the first few days I was like, oh my gosh, I cannot believe how soft you know, my feet are, but like I said, the healing process was a little weird. Now I only use it in the shower at the very end of my like showering session when my, when my skin is, you know, more soft, the skin comes off so easily. It's, it's still really bizarre how much will come off. I live in South Texas. <laughs> I wear flip flops all the time. I, um, I walk around my house barefoot all the time. I never wear, well, no, I do wear, um, little slippers and stuff around my house too. But anyway, this is just incredible. So I use it when my skin's really wet and soft and the skin comes off so easily. Your skin will be like baby soft for, I usually do it about maybe every week and a half or something like that. And it's just incredible. It is incredible. It has so many incredible reviews. And so, but like I said, I would not suggest doing it when your feet are dry because it's, at first I was like, I'm never gonna use it again. And I'm so glad that I tried it a different, you know, tried a different method because now I love it. I can't live without it. And uh, who doesn't want soft feet, you know? So yeah. Okay, so next up is this right here. Isn't that kind of cool? I can see me and I can see my little mirror right there. Anyway, this is a, a mirrored phone case. And um, I had to take it off my phone because I'm, I'm actually filming with my phone and I wanted to show you it. Uh, anyway, this is just such a cool case. I can't tell you how many times I've been like in a dressing room and I'm trying on jeans or skirts or whatever and I wanna see behind me but I don't have a mirror or a compact or something like that in my purse. This will definitely come in handy because obviously it's a mirror and it also comes in handy. You know, just, you know, it's like having a compact for a phone case. <laughs> so anyway, I really like it. Also, if you are taking a selfie, but not in selfie mode, you actually have a little mirror there. However, you do have to figure out how to angle it properly if you wanna do that. 
I know that if I'm going to use my mirror, I have to have it looking like I have to be able to see my neck <laughs> um, in the reflection for me to get a proper like selfie with the front facing camera. I don't know if that makes sense. So, um, and so if I'm going to set it up on a tripod, because obviously I'm going to get more clarity if I, if I do it, yeah, front facing rather than, you know, selfie mode. And so again, you can just kind of gauge it, you know, do a little trial and then you'll kind of know, um, what you have to be looking at in the reflection in order to, so that like you're centered or, you know, something like that. Okay. So the next item that I'm going to show you are these right here. And I have three of them, um, here on my lap, but there are two others. They come five in a pack and it's five for $10. These are little washcloths for your face. And they're very similar to this. This is the makeup eraser. And I want to say that this was 19 something and these are five for $10. So they're like $2 a piece. So you can't beat that. Anyway, I feel like they work equally as good as each other. Um, I think the only difference is it's a little bit harder to get the makeup um, off of these than it is this one. Um, and only because, you know, whenever I was using this, sometimes I would just use it and then I would take, you know, my fragrance free soap and then just wash it really good and hang it um, in the in the shower so that it could dry so that I could use it the next evening um, because I only had two. And so I was just kind of rotating them and you know, I, did, I wasn't gonna do a load of laundry every single day. So um, anyway, I tried to do it with one of these and it was a little bit more difficult to get the makeup off of, but it did come, you know, completely off. Um, in the washing machine, it's just a lot easier. So anyway, this is the makeup eraser and then this is kind of a knockoff, but I feel like they work equally as well. They're so plush, they're so soft on your skin. This is really old, so I feel like this looks so much more plush and it actually feels a little bit more plush right now. Also, this makeup eraser I actually used last night and I was, these were in the washer and then the other two were dirty. So I actually just washed this by hand real fast because I was like, I wanted to show you guys um, you know, the comparison. And then I threw it in the dryer, but I feel like it doesn't look quite as plush as these or feel because of the way that I washed it. I think that if I just had thrown it in the washer instead of washed it like that, it would be a lot more plush looking because it's really, really plush. Both of these, like I said, they just, I feel like they work equally as well. These you just get five for $10 and this is two for 20, so. Okay, so the next item or items up are these right here and these are little silicone lids, oops. <laughs> And let me tell you, these really, really come in handy. Uh, I, I know that you, I cannot be alone in saying that I always lose like Tupperware lids somehow. I don't know how it happens, but it always happens. Or I'll lose the bottoms and just be left with a bunch of lids. I don't know how that happens either. Anyway, um, every year we do this like family reunion and we do it at this ranch and resort. And we're usually there for about five days. And we all, you know, obviously make meals in our in our rooms and stuff because it's got full kitchen, you know, dishes, everything, but they never have Tupperware. So after we've eaten, I, I'm always like, oh no, I don't know, you know, where am I going to put this or how am I going to cover it up or, you know, whatever. So anyway, I went out and purchased these and let me just show you. Now, the only downside to them is that when you wash and dry them, sometimes they leave like little water spots on them and... I really can't get them off, but you know, it's a small price to pay. Anyway, I have a bowl right here. So I'm just going to show you and I'm not going to, I'm not going to be able to show it to you like that, but I'll show it to you after I've covered it. So you just stretch it over the top and you know, it comes, there's so many different sizes. So, you know, you don't have to worry if it's like an exact fit, because even if it's not like this one is a little too big, but all you do is you know, pull it down on the sides and then it's super tight and then you could put food in there. Now, obviously you're not gonna wanna like shake it around or whatever, but anyway, it's a really nice snug fit. So it's gonna keep it, you know, fresh. And, and then obviously, you know, when you wanna eat it, you just take it off like that. Now, where it comes most in handy is if I have opened up a can of something and I know that I'm gonna be eating it the next day or maybe even later that evening, I'll take the small one and just like this, this is real small. So I'm gonna stretch it over this. I think that this is the one that fits. I'm gonna stretch it over the, the top of the can. Okay. 
So yeah, just like that. And so now you have a lid for your can and you can just put that in the refrigerator. Now, I obviously don't like to leave things in the can in the refrigerator too long. I don't know why. Sometimes they start to like taste like a can or something, <laughs> but I have definitely done this before. And if you have like wet dog food or wet cat food or something like that, then um, these little lids would also come in handy for those. But I just think that they're such a great idea, especially if you're traveling and you're staying at like a timeshare or something like that, you know? And they come in so many different sizes and colors and you know there's one for everything however there's not a really really giant one i did have a bowl that i was trying to cover the other day and it was just a little bit too big okay so see can you see the spots um that's just those are just water spots but you know like i said it's a small price to pay here's a, here's a really really big one so yeah okay so the next item that i'm going to show you is this right here and this actually came as a suggestion from one of my subscribers. I don't remember who it was, but thank you so much because I went out and bought it. And it is a tinted um, SPF face cream. And it's awesome. I'm gonna put some on the back of my hand. Now this is the medium. I do need to get a light because already now that summer's over and I don't plan on being in the sun any, you know, too much longer, um, I know that my tan is just gonna fade. And so I do definitely need to get a little bit of a lighter one. Also, I love using this on my face and my neck and my chest, and I actually put some on my arms, but, um, but I don't like using it under my eyes. I don't know why. I, I don't like the way that it makes um, my makeup look on top, you know, under my eyes. However, it almost works as a primer everywhere else, like on my, on my forehead and the rest of my face. I feel like my makeup really sticks to it, and under my eyes, it really sticks to it too. I just don't like, I don't know if it's the, the texture or the consistency or something under my eyes. I just don't like the way that it looks. So, uh, but then again, I've also stopped using any type of liquid concealer under my eyes also. I only use a, it's right here. I only use this right here, but I use it. This is the classic ivory, but I also have it in porcelain and I mix them together and that's what I use as concealer because when I use those two, and this is the Super Stay Full Coverage, um, Full Coverage Powder Foundation by Maybelline. It's so awesome, it's all I use. I don't use any regular liquid foundation anymore. I don't use liquid concealer. This is all I use. When I use this under my eyes, it is such full coverage, but it's not cakey at all. It doesn't settle in my lines. It doesn't make me look older underneath. It is so, I just love it. I love it. That's all I use under my eyes now. So anyway, I did try to put this under my eyes and it just made me feel like I was using a liquid concealer. I didn't like, I didn't like the way that it made my under eye area look everywhere else. I love it. I'm going to show you. Um, like I said, this is the medium. Um, it looks a little messy right now, but this is the color. It's a little bit dark. I'll just put some on the back of my hand here. Let's see if we can, and it's just slightly tinted, you know? Um, yeah, you can tell. I think you can definitely tell that's a little bit dark. Um, can you still see my veins? <laughs> I think you can. I don't think I can hide those. They're so green. <laughs> One time I put on this nail polish and it was like a tinted, it was almost like a, a greenish color. And my, my older sister was like, really brings out the green in your veins. I'm like, I am not wearing that. <laughs> I'm not gonna wear this, this nail polish color if it's gonna bring out the green in my veins. So anyway, we laughed so hard about that. Anyway, like I said, this came as a suggestion from one of my subscribers. It's only like $12 or something like that. And I just love the consistency. I love the way that it looks on my skin and everything. I just need to get a little bit lighter of a color, so. Okay, so the next item that I'm gonna show you is this right here. And this actually came as a suggestion from my daughter. She just kept seeing, I don't know, TikToks or something about it. And it's just a little water bottle, but it's a mist spray. And it is so awesome. I'm gonna show you, I don't wanna get everything wet. Okay, so watch this. Isn't that awesome? Did you see, you know, it was such a light mist and it's so even. So anyway, I just love this. Me and my daughter use it all the time. Anytime I need to like freshen up my hair and I don't wanna wash my hair, but I need to get some, you know, kinks out because I slept on it weird. I'll use this and then I'll take it a little blow dryer and then just kind of like straighten it out or whatever. But I just love that it's such a really fine mist. And so, yeah, 
Works awesome. Okay, so this is the next item that um, I wanted to tell you guys about. This is a little steamer. And if you're like me and you hate ironing, then you're gonna love this. I don't know what it is about ironing. I will avoid it at all costs. I will avoid even buying clothes that have to be ironed. But, um, but I don't mind steaming stuff, I don't know why. Anyway, um, as you can see, the water in there is boiling. You can probably hear it also. It took about two minutes for that to happen. I love it because it actually has a very long cord too. So it's not like you're, you know, you're gonna need an extension cord. Um, let me, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and just insert a clip here of me steaming something so that you can see, you know, how it's done because I don't have something here for me to steam right now. And I wanted to show you guys that. Okay, so here's my son's wrinkled shirt. These shirts he has to wear to school, they're just school uniform. Anyway, okay, here's the steamer. Now, first thing you wanna do is just fill it up to that line, it says max right there. You don't wanna go overboard because it might boil out. Um, and then before I get started, as you can see, there's some droplets right there on the nozzle. So before I get started, I always just kind of dry it off with a towel. Be very careful because you don't wanna put your fingers near it. Okay, so then you just want to get started, and um, I've noticed that when I press it up against the shirt, um, I usually get a few droplets on it, but I feel like it goes so much faster. I think you're supposed to keep it, you know, about an inch away from the fabric so that that does not happen, but um, of course, I don't ever follow the rules, so I just do it like this. And you see how quickly it just releases those, those wrinkles. Just like that. So as you can see, it's nice and straight right there and it's still wrinkled over here and on the bottom, obviously. I don't know if you guys can hear this, but when it gets real close to the fabric, you can hear it sounds definitely different like this. So there you have it. It looks so much better than it did a minute ago when it was really wrinkly. Obviously, I, did, I didn't take a ton of time, so, um, so it's not perfect, but and I'm not doing the back or anything like that. But I did want to mention also that I feel like it works really well on these types of fabrics or like a dress or a flowy skirt or something like that. I'm not sure I would necessarily, um, you know, use it for like a business shirt, you know, something that's meant to be kind of starched and pressed and stuff like that. But for this type of fabric, I feel like it works really, really well. So there you go. Okay, so I am sitting out in my driveway right now because I wanted to show you guys this right here. This is something that I found on TikTok and it's just a mirror for your car. It's actually a giant mirror. As you can see, that's my rear view mirror right there and it looks so tiny in comparison um this is so big you can literally see all the way back you know to the back of your suv and i've got a really big suv somebody's walking behind my car oh it's a kid so anyway the coolest thing about this mirror is that it lights up and it's got a few different settings well maybe it just has two and um this is actually rechargeable it came fully charged so i have not had to charge it at all. It just came like that, but it does come with a charger so that when it does lose its charge, you know, obviously you can um, juice it back up. And the way that it goes on is it just straps like this on the back. And so it's got Velcro like that. And the Velcro is really, really sturdy. It's not gonna, you know, fall off or anything like that. And so, yeah, it's just super, super cool. And I can't imagine that I'm ever gonna need to use these lights, you know, during the day because it's so bright in the car anyway. But um, in the evenings, I feel like it would come in handy. It actually just came in handy because we went to my in-laws and I didn't have a lot of makeup on before we left the house. And it's about, you know, a two hour, two and a half hour drive or something like that. And so I just strapped this over to the passenger side and I literally put on a whole full face of makeup in the car. <laughs> and so anyway, I just feel like this is such a neat, little mirror and if you're somebody like me who you know i don't know primps at the red lights from time to time then you would probably like this too it's also cool because my daughter will sit like right there when she gets um in the car after school and i can totally see her while i'm having a conversation with her i try not to do that because obviously i need to pay attention to the road and this is it's a little bit of a distraction but super 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 cool so 
just thought you guys might like that. Okay, so that is all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. As always, I will have links to everything that I showed you in this video in my description box below, just in case you want to go check, you know, these items out, go read the reviews and, you know, make a decision for yourself. So anyway, thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you have a fantastic weekend and hopefully I will see you back here next week.